Okay, for this one, it's just uh, pretty basic integrals. So for our first one, we are going to use x to the power of 10 dx. We're going to be using the um, integral for exponents, and that just states that the integral of x to the power of a over dx is equal to 1 over a plus 1 x to the power of a plus 1 plus c if it's unbounded. And so now we just apply that to our situation where a is equal to 10, and that would become the integral of x to the power of 10 dx is equal um, to 1 over 10 plus 1, that's going to be 11, x to the power of 10 plus 1, which is also going to be 11, plus c. And that's going to be our final answer. Next up, we have the integral of 8x to the power of 6 over dx. First off, we're going to simplify this integral, and we're going to use the uh, fact that the integral of a constant a multiplied by a function of x all over dx is going to be the same thing as if you pull out that constant and do the integral. So what that means is that we can pull out that 8, so it becomes the integral of 8 uh, by x to the power of 6 over dx is equal to 8 multiplied by x to the power of 6 dx. And then next up, we're going to use the exponent rule like we did in the previous question, where we know that the integral of x to the power of a over dx is 1 over a plus 1 x to the power of a plus 1 plus c. So what that means for our question is that the um, 8 multiplied by the integral of x to the power of 6 dx is going to be 8 into 1 over 8 plus 1, 9, x to the power of a plus 1, so that's 9 plus c. Multiplying 8 by the um, constant, it's still going to be a constant, so we can just label that new constant um, c2. We can name it something else, but we've been told specifically to use c for the constant of integration, so our answer will become um, 8 over 9, x to the power of 9, plus c. And that's going to be our final answer for this one. Lastly, we are going to be integrating um, 3 to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 13. This is all over dx. So we are going to use um, the additive property that the integral of f over, sorry, f of x plus g of x over dx is equal to the integral of f of x over dx plus the integral of g of x over dx. So applied to our question, that means that the integral of 3 to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 13 all over dx is going to be equal to the integral of 3 to the power of 4 dx plus the integral of x to the power of 13 dx. So we need to evaluate these individual integrals. First up, we are going to use the um, constant one that we just previously talked about. Is equal to pull out the constant f of x dx to this one. So that will mean that the integral of 3 to the power of 4 dx is equal to 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by the integral of dx. We know that the integral of 1 multiplied by dx is simply x, so that will become 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by x. And then for this one, we're going to use the exponent rule, as we have in the previous ones. So that will become um, that the integral of x to the power of a dx is 1 over a plus 1 x to the power of a plus 1 plus c. We're not going to write down the plus u, um, we'll write it down at the end because it'll always just remain a constant whether you multiply it by, no by another constant or not. And so it'll become 1 over 13 plus 1, so 14, multiplied by x to the power of 14 is equal to the integral of x to the power of 13 dx. And so that means that the integral of 3 to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 13 dx is going to be equal to this, which we have found is 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by x, plus the integral of x to the power of 13, which we found here. 
and then lastly the plus c because it's an unbounded integral you can write out the 3 to the power 4 at the end if you'd like or leave it like that